welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hi, Adam. Hello. And we are here to discuss, um, well, a spotlight program, this week's program, and it is about a subject uh, that I really enjoy, um, sort of as a whole, and that is television. Ah. I sh I'm sure you knew that about me, Adam. Yeah. But this week's program is about a specific kind of television called slow TV. And so... Is that uh, like streaming yeah. TV, but when your internet is slow? <laughs> no. Oh. That, is not, that is not it. It is not a, an interrupted signal TV. Okay. It is purposefully slow television. But we'll get to that. <laughs> Um, if you have not heard this program or seen this program on YouTube, maybe just pause this video, go over there, listen to it. You can visit our website at www.spotlightenglish.com where you can follow along with the words and listen to the program. Or you can watch it on YouTube or listen to it as a podcast um, in those different places. And I do want to give a little plug, so mention it, uh, and we will talk about this later, but I want to give a little plug for YouTube memberships. And if you want to learn more about becoming a Spotlight member, you can go to our website to learn about it there, or you can go right to the source and go to YouTube. Click the little join button under any video and learn more about it there. And we have a special, uh, a special perk for members this week, and that is our very own Spotlight Slow TV video, which is really cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so what did what did I miss? So we're gonna we gotta we gotta talk about memberships and yeah we can you get did into it the all. Program. Yeah, I did it all. So uh, Adam, you know I love TV, okay. and um, I really love like science fiction TV, but all of the TV that we usually watch, even if it's well me maybe, even if it's like a reality show, maybe like a cooking show. Okay. All of those things are edited together. Right. So somebody <clears throat> takes a camera and they they shoot. I don't. That's the word for like taking yeah. a video. Yeah. So they shoot a bunch of video. They might watch a process um, from beginning to end in a reality show. They might uh, follow a couple different people about what they're doing, or in um, just a normal yeah. TV yeah. show. They might, um, you know, shoot one scene and then go to another. And, and then an editor. Right. Well, and even I was going to say everything is very, there's people behind the scenes that we yes. don't even see planning. I always think about that in those cook, you mentioned cooking shows where they, yes. they take out the finished product because we don't have the time to wait to watch it bake, right? Someone had to right. make that and make sure it turned or out. Or people well. setting up microphones or, um, you know, watching the script and things like that. Yep. Um, and then, so once all of that footage comes together, it goes to an editor and that person takes out all the boring parts. They might, if they're making a, um, a TV show, they might look at the script and yep. see what needs to be cut out or what the you know actors said and, and put all that in order. Um, or if you're watching a reality show, like a reality cooking show, they might cut out the parts where, you know, you're waiting for something to come out of the oven or um, maybe maybe make it seem like there's an argument between two people, depending right, on how it's edited. Right. Um, but this is a whole new kind of TV, this slow TV. Right. Do you want to tell about it? So, yeah. So if you've listened to the program, you know that it, I think... Um, as a as a thing, as a you used to call it a new thing, it started yeah. in the country of Norway. Yes. Um, with uh, I don't know if like who got this idea. I well, we we know that public television in Norway is very well supported. Right. So um, they had this idea to put a camera. Yeah, I think it's the, I think it was just two guys. Yeah. Two guys had this idea. Right. 
to put a camera on a very long train ride. So you, you'd be watching as if you were uh, not kind of on the front of the train. I mean, I don't know if this yeah, is like a... Yeah, sitting in the train. I think there were maybe like two or three cameras okay. in different spaces. Yeah. So it was like you were riding the train the entire way. And hours and hours. Whereas what we were talking about a second... Seven and a half hours. Yeah. What we were talking about a moment ago usually is either 30 minutes or 60 minutes. This yes. was seven plus hours of just this one thing. No uh, editing. No, f There were no drama. No, uh, you know, yeah. like dramatic music to keep you engaged no yeah, just the sounds just the sounds of what although um there were some times that the train went into a tunnel and then it would just be black right, right. so they um the tv station in norway that made this program they had some i think historical footage okay. that they would just put in like a little you know picture in picture um so you had something so to watch not yeah. just be staring at a black screen well what was exciting about when i was when i was reading this and learning about it was that it's a uh counterintuitive which is a big fancy word that just means uh it goes against what you would first think so everybody would say go faster you know like you know tiktok is very popular so it's like yeah. short and fast but this is yeah. long and slow this is like the anti TikTok. The anti—that's what we should call it. Yeah, anti. Yeah. That's that's gonna be on our uh, video description. Liz and Adam discuss anti TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it is though. But people loved it. People tuned yeah. in, and they just started to watch it. And um, yeah, and then it. And then it, they it, made more. Then they made more. Why don't you tell about the the next one they decided to do? Well, I think there were. I, there, okay, so the one that we talk about in the program right. is a boat ride. The boat ride. And um, I'm not sure if it was like the second one they did or if it was just um, like another one they did. Yeah. But this one was five and a half days. Five and like, a half days. Just constantly on the um, on the TV. Right. And I actually, um, we put a link to that video in the program of on our website. So if you want to check out, if you have five and a half days that you want to um, watch every minute of that boat ride, there is a link on our website. You can do that. Um, but yeah, they, and it was so popular that I think at one point half of Norway was watching. It was the yeah. most watched show in Norway ever. Well, the, well that leads me to two questions. First, yeah. why do you think it was popular? And second, yeah. do you think, Liz, you would enjoy watching slow TV? That, okay, so yeah, those are two different questions, right? Um, I I don't know, because I feel like there's a lot, well, I'll tackle the first one. So why would people watch this show? Um, I think that lots of people like to have something on in the background it's not something I particularly enjoy, but I do think people like to um, sort of feel surrounded when they're mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. It's why a lot of people listen to podcasts or uh, podcasts. My, my neighbor There's always my has a TV on. Oh, right. Yeah. Just always. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you might have on a story that you've watched a million times, a, a television program that you've watched a, a lot so yeah. that you don't really have to pay attention to it. Um, or reality TV, where, again, you don't really have to pay attention to it. Um, I think that might be one reason. Yeah. Uh, another reason I thought was interesting to me that we did talk about in the program is... Um, that it allows you to travel to different places. Mm -hmm. I know that I do actually enjoy watching travel videos sometimes, um, you know, to see how houses are different or or just a thing is made. And I right. think it could, uh, here's a nice idiom for you, scratch that itch. Hmm. So, you know, something that if you wanted to go travel, um, 
you could do it through there, especially in COVID times? Yeah. What I do you would, think? I, I think another, and this is similar to what you're saying, is um, it's it's calming in a way yeah. that, like, it's, you have, even the train track, you know, like, yes. or the boat, like it's, it's rhythmic and it's, it's soothing yeah. in, in ways that I think is appealing to people in a life where it's always, I go from this thing to this thing, to this thing, to this thing. Um, at least that's, that would be the appeal to me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It really is um, something that you could, uh, you know, sit and just maybe do some handiwork to it. Like, right knitting or you know making something or painting and just having something beautiful on in yeah. the background because yeah. many of these uh slow tv videos that you can find really easily on youtube are um they're shot very beautifully yeah they yeah. include very beautiful scenery so it, it's kind of like a piece of art that moves yeah yeah, yeah. exactly so, so would you watch one of these how would you i was just gonna answer that okay, good. um i no, I don't know if I would. I really, I really do enjoy TV quite a lot. Um, but I also really love story and character. And I think it would be really difficult for me to feel like I was involved in something just watching slow TV. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? What What about you? I I get very um. Here's a, a, a word that maybe our viewers don't know. Antsy. It has nothing oh, yeah. to do with the insect ants, though yeah. <laughs> you can you can make connections. But uh, if I have to sit too long, I'm like, ah, I want to do something else. I like to do a variety of things. So, so maybe you could have it on in the background. I could, but I don't know. I I might try it. There There is something really beautiful to me about slow TV, though. I, like, yeah. even though I don't know if I would personally enjoy it, I think there is something, there's something there that I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let's talk. I mean, I made this slow TV we, yes. video. Yes. And let me, so let me tell you, uh, you can check it out. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a video. It's about 30 minutes, which is pretty short for slow tv right right um, well right now uh members can check it out oh um, yep that's right members of the advanced level and above so again i'm going to put a little plug there for membership uh you know click that join button below learn a little bit more about membership and then uh yeah be yeah. able to have access to those videos and and scripts as well right so uh so let me, even if you, you haven't done that, it was very interesting. So I took a camera. I have a little uh, forest woods area near my house and I walked my dog and you can follow the path going through the woods and you can hear the footsteps crunching on the gravel and the leaves yeah. and you can see the wind and the sun is rising. And um, it was nice to, as someone as making it because I had to look at things differently and you know like a yeah. when you have a framing of a of a screen you you only look at that one thing now you can have a very wide shot but you're still only looking at that one thing and right. um it really helped me like what am I pointing the camera at what am I paying attention to yeah um so I think I it's do... uh it was interesting yeah I was going to say, I really like that aspect, that part of it, um, um, that you kind of see what the camera sees, but you choose what to focus on. Right. So, you know, when somebody has a camera in a, in a program, like in, in a typical TV show where you're, you know, either a, a reality show yeah. or scripted television, they're showing you what you should look at for the story. That's true. Sometimes they come in very close to just, you only see a person's face. Right, exactly. But if you are, and especially um, in this video that was produced by the Norway television, uh, public television, right. uh, you know, they went past a whole uh, group of people waiting for this boat. 
on this five and a half day trip. Right. And you, they don't zoom in on people. They just show everyone. So yeah. what are you going to look at on that? Or when the boat goes back on the water, what side of the of the boat are you going to concentrate on right. where the camera is? Right. I think that's uh, that is kind of appealing because I am a bit of a people watcher. Oh sure, <clears throat> so people are fascinating. To be able to see, yeah. Well, people I think if elements. if you're watching this and. Um, let us know if you think you would like to either make slow TV. What would you What would you make a video yeah. of, and, or would you watch it? You know, go check out the videos. There's lots on YouTube. You can let yeah. us know if you have a favorite. I was gonna say, if people make slow TV, they should know that they can make slow TV about anything. Anything. It's about any sort of subject that you are maybe doing or or making or anything like anything. that so yeah that's really interesting um yeah so if you want to check out any of these programs we have a we have a classic version a no music version and an advanced version you can watch any of those depending on uh what sort of challenge you want and uh you can find it on our website www.spotlightenglish.com you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube, and anywhere that you find your podcasts. I do want to say if you would like uh, scripts delivered uh, once a week on Monday, every Monday, we have a very low cost option for you to get the script PDF every week. It is about a dollar a week, and you can check out how to get that on our website where it says a little button says scripts by email. And we would love to see you there. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining us in this conversation. Give this video a like if you can. Uh, subscribe, that really helps us out. And tell other people about Spotlight. Answer the questions below in the comments. That's a great way to practice your English. And until next time, listen, watch, practice, learn. Spotlight out. Mm -hmm.